Good day to everyone, I'm Matt Guantaman, and welcome to another video here at Palabas channel. For today's video, we are going to show you a retrofit of a current uh, koi pond in construction. So this is an old uh, koi pond that is uh, retrofitted because the old filter here was too small. So we were limited to the space provided uh, with a box, current box provided. So we had to adjust our long filter and uh, adjust it into a smaller uh, length filter. So follow me here so we can see the inside of the filter. So this is the inside of the box of the filter. Normally our uh, seven stage filter is longer, no? So we had to cut the seven stage filter. Here we cut the seven stage, seven stage filter and uh, we partition one of the chambers here. So to start with our filter uh, walkthrough, this is the radial stage of our filter. So that's our uh, standpipe, and then this is our steel well, and then outside the radial stage we have our static bed over here. So this is our first static bed, and we have here an acrylic uh, divider, which goes through our, uh, this would be our fourth stage, oh, sorry, third stage. So the first stage is radial, second stage is static, and then we have another static filter here. We have K1 media. So the media pellets are still new. So they're still buoyant. And then from the third stage, we have our fourth stage, which is our MBBR or moving bed bioreactor. The reactor is powered by a silent pump over here at the back. So the, the space is very tight. So the silent pump, because we are in a house, inside the house, as you can see, the filter is inside, uh, oh, the pond is inside the house. So we, our, our air pump should be quiet, okay? Or a silent, uh, silent type air pump. So this powers our MBBR. Since our media is still new, some of them fell here. Let me get some, uh, some of them. They're still buoyant. And uh, as, as it mat matures, the filter will become uh, negatively buoyant and then uh, it will dance uh, slowly inside the MBBR. So how do we maintain our filter? We simply turn on the static uh, air valve over here. We have air valves over here. And then turn off the, the MBBR. So we turn off the MBBR. The static gets agitated. We also have a uh, valve over here for the... Uh, so the static part gets agitated. So while it gets agitated, we now have a drain valve at the back. So I, let me go at the back. Okay, so we have a drain valve here. I don't know if you can see it. So the drain valve is uh, directly connected to the sink and when you turn it on and you turn on the drain valve it drains the water out the drain okay so let me see if I can remove the tile so it drains to the drain so normally you would drain uh, a filter like this once a week but because this is a smaller capacity filter because we have a limited space or limited uh, area for our filter, we will do it uh, once or twice a week. So now to turn off, we reverse the process. We turn on the MBBR. So the MBBR uh, is on and then we turn off our static part. Okay? So that's how easy to clean, that's how easy it is to clean our new or our filter. No? Compared to the old uh, filter design where you need to remove brushes. No? So we'll, I'll go out here first. It's a very tight space. Okay. Let me go out here first, okay? So compared to the filter before, we need to remove the brushes and then flush them flush the dirt and then put the brushes back 
But now, because we are using a uh, K1 type media or PE03 media, it's now very easy to maintain and clean the filter. And because we have an MBBR, the MBBR provides the uh, surface area for the good bacteria to convert any ammonia uh, left in the pond into uh, nitrates which is uh, then discarded discarded uh, in the drain. Uh, before they had plants here but they removed the plants because of the lack of sunlight. No? So those were all hanging plants. Now they replaced it with a fountain or a water feature over there. Okay? So let me place the cover back. And now let's look at the pump. Pump side. So here we added a new feature. So that's the pump. The pump was too strong for the size of the filter. That's a uh, large pump. So we added a venturi. No? So the venturi creates bubbles, additional bubbles uh, in the pond. No? It creates additional aeration by the aid of the uh, water flow from the pump. The water uh, flow can be controlled or the water flow can be controlled by those valves. No? So the Venturi also has a snorkel over here. So this is the snorkel. So we can control the bubbles by controlling the valve over here. No? So if we open it just enough, you have uh, just enough size bubbles for the fish. Aside from the aeration uh, given by the Venturi, we also have the air, air hoses, air hose here, which provides additional air stone or aeration to the air stones. No? So to recap, again, uh, this is a retrofit. The old uh, pond has a very small filter, so it is under capacity for the volume of water of the pond. So we installed a bigger one. Uh, I would I would have had installed a seven scale fil filter here. I would oh, I would like to install a larger one, but because of the limited space, we had to customize the longer our longer filters and cut it in half, and then create new chambers so that uh, we have a static and an MBBR part. No? So again, the chambers are. We have the radial flow, a radial center here. And then we have the static. The static flow, or the static uh, chamber. And then we have another static here. And then we have the K1 or moving bed bioreactor, which is powered by an air pump at the back, okay? And then it, the water is, drawn from the lowest part of the pond, the sump over there. So that's the pump. We had to extend a snorkel. So we had to extend a snorkel to suck in water from the sump over there. We did not use the old pump because their old pump is uh, too large or the, the pump is designed to the pump is designed to give a flow to the water feature, so it's too the volume of water or the flow is too high, and it will uh, overflow. It, it will make the filter overflow. So we will follow the progress of this uh, system. Uh, we are first cycling the filter media because the filter media is new, and we need to cycle it so that it will, it will become uh, nuclearly buoyant and it will, it will become uh, uh, the bio, it will build up a biofilm which will be the home or the, the surface area for our good bacteria. And then when the pond cycling is done, we can now add the koi. So this is a koi pond. So the koi uh, are very sensitive to the quality of water in your pond. So we make sure first that the water is fully cycled before adding any fish. Maybe we'll add some sacrificial uh, fish here so that we will, so that they can give up ammonia and convert that 
connect the filter converted ammonia into the usable uh, nitrates or the nitrates in which uh, in which aids in the cycling of our pond. So if you want to learn more about our koi pond filter or our pond filters, don't forget to like, share, subscribe our uh, Madonna channel on YouTube. And again, thank you for watching.